Welcome to CMO Live, where I help real estate agents cut through the noise, understand how to succeed with modern real estate marketing, and learn how to grow your business this year. I'm Kurt Euler, so let's go ahead and dive right in. In this series, we're going to be continuing to walk through our real estate uh, website success series, where I look through the thousands of websites that have been built with Showcase IDX, uh, brought in some research I've done outside of the company, and specifically looked at the top 24 most successful websites that we have. And so this guide and this series of videos is going to walk through for you the features on those most successful websites and the specific settings that they're using as well. So, <clears throat> As I mentioned, that's what we're going to walk through. If you do have questions, either in this video or in future videos, just leave a comment below and I'll reply back to you either in the comments or in a future video. And I may even email you directly because these videos and even the success guide came out of questions that I heard in our user group that Andy and Tiffany on our team has heard directly from agents and some of our certified partners. So by all means, I want to know what questions you have either from what I'm saying now or what questions you have about your marketing. Some of the features that we're going to be looking through is the number of real estate websites. How What are hot sheets and community pages? How many do you need to have? Uh, what registration locks do you need to have? Uh, should those registration locks be hard locks or soft lo uh, locks? What type of map styling, what kind of hosting should be used and even what WordPress themes people are using? This though, right now, we really just kind of want to think about to get started, what must your real estate website do? Because I find this is actually, a lot of people either believe that having a real estate website doesn't work today, or they just jump right in. They know that they need one, but they, they haven't thought through what that site must do. And it's kind of one of those things, if, if you don't have a direction, you're, you're not going to end up at your destination. If, if you're in Chicago and you want to get to New York, you're not going to start out by going west. So it's just kind of one of the same things. What must your website do? And today, there's a lot of things that Google says it must do, that from a marketer's perspective it must do. And I mean, so this is just one of those things. I think any website today has to be mobile friendly. There's a lot of these check boxes you'll see from an SEO perspective, which are really, they're kind of binary, yes or no. Is it mobile friendly? Yes. Um, but more than that, it's got to shine on mobile. And it's got to not just show you from a, uh, the, uh, that you're a realtor, but that has to provide the tools so that you see stats like this, so that you know half your traffic might be coming from mobile. Because even though you may get your clients from pay-per-click or somewhere else, your clients are going to be on their phone. They're going to be at work. They're going to be on a tablet. And you know, your website needs to work for them in those ways. And it's becoming more and more important. I mean, as far back as 2018, NAR said that 95% of home buyers visit a real estate agent's website during their home search. That's not visiting the website for their broker um, or a portal. That's visiting the average agent's website. And so it's one of those things when I, when I do keynotes and I do workshops and I talk through and I ask how many people have websites and how many people don't. And you know, you, you tend to hear that most agents that do not have what their own website, whatever type of website that is, um, that their, their businesses are not growing because people are wanting to go look at your website, one, to vet who you are and are you somebody they should be working with, but they're also wanting to um, see if you have tools and can help them as well. And so, like, you do need to have a website and, and this number is only skewed up and there's not a lot of room to go from 95%. I mean, it's not just they visit it, it's is it usable to them or not? And so when I do those workshops, what I kind of think about is once we can walk through what your real estate niche needs to be and where your focus needs to be, that website, your website needs to build your personal brand. I mean, ultimately, we, we do hear that people move brokers, brokers every five, to, uh, five years on average, according to NAR. So your personal brand stays with you. So you're, not only does it need your website need to build your brand, it needs to reinforce your brand. Um, it needs to allow you to capture leads over time. And so wherever those leads come from, whether they're from open houses or pay-per-click, that the, the, it, your website needs to be a, one of your primary ways of capturing leads and keeping them. 
It needs to provide uh, the modern buying and selling tools that clients require. We're gonna talk about that uh, in, in a future video in more detail. Because kind of leading to that is it's gotta retain those qualified leads and clients. If your website does not provide the experience that uh, your clients are expecting, they're going to go to Zillow. They're going to go to another agent's website, at which point then their contact information, their budget information has one been shared, um, but you also are, are competing at that point when you didn't have to if your website provided the, uh, the, the tools that they wanted so that it retained them. So the keys that I think you just need to take away from this video as we get started in the series is that your site serves as the hub for any successful real estate marketing strategy today. No matter whether you're primarily getting leads from pay-per-click, uh, your website is going to retain those clients so that they don't, they, they don't leave and go to the big Z. Um, or they don't go to another agent's website. Um, whether or not you're wanting to do SEO and generate organic, whatever, whatever ways we could walk through from a strategy perspective, the hub of that is a, is a website that you control, that's your, that's your hub that you funnel everything else to and you build around. So we're gonna walk through that as we continue this series. In the next video, we're gonna walk through how to analyze real estate websites. So this is gonna let you in on how I analyze websites for, for this series and this success guide, but it's also gonna show you uh, some secret tools kind of so that you can snoop, frankly, on competitors' websites. You may wanna know if a uh, com real estate competitor's website, if they're doing remarketing ads. Well, I'm gonna show you how to figure that out. You may wanna know what theme that they're using. We're gonna show you things like that too. So I look forward to talking to you in the next video. And if before then though, you want to just jump ahead, by all means, the success guide is available for download on our website, and it's also going to be available as a free course for you to take on the website. So until our next video.